state your name and uh, your position. Uh, my name is Graham Dunstan. Um, my position, captain of Peace Bus, but I'm just one of the people who've come to Rockhampton for the Peace Convergence. Alrighty, and just tell us, you know, what is this Peace Convergence? Tell us what's happening here today. Well, it's a seasonal response to the Talisman Sabre war rehearsals. Activists from all over Australia come to Rockhampton to generate some peace, generate some more resistance and build community for peace in this time of permanent war. What's your aim? To build a community of peace in this time of permanent war. Mm, and um, you know, how many people are you expecting to turn out here today? Ooh, how many people? A dozen. Mm -hmm. and, um, but we've got a captive, captive audience across the fence. They're all sleeping now, but we're going to wake them up. All these servicemen, they say 30,000 have come to Rockhampton for the games. I think they're fibbing. I think they're exaggerating. I think most of those are on US ships at sea. But there's some of them in residence here at Western Barracks. Yeah, what is your greatest concern with um, our, I guess, increased alliance with the US and military alliance? It's got us into one futile war after another, and it's costing us a mint. For example, the, the Af Afghan war was the longest war ever fought by Australian servicemen and the most expensive. $9.1 billion has been spent. Our taxes in utter futility. 12 years it went on for. And did we hear a peep out of the ADF, the Australian Defence Forces, that this was futile? No, they took the money. They said, it's jobs for us, mate. We're happy to wage war in foreign lands and take the taxes. Yeah? That's where the real mind is. They're supposed to be a national army. They're supposed to work for the defence of Australia, truly for the defence of Australia. But what are they doing? They're just agents of US wars overseas. <laughs> Do you think it's also concerning considering that, you know, our biggest alliance or economic alliance is, is China, it's not the US anymore? You, you betcha. Some say the USA is a declining empire, not declining fast enough for me. Meanwhile, China is rising. All our prosperity is due to the economic power of China. And yet with this Asian pivot that's brought US Marines and stationed them in Darwin, this is all about containing the US, containing China. Containing is what the US did to Japan that launched Pearl Harbor. It means war. Containment means war with China. That's not in our interest. Let's get off that boat. And uh, just to play the devil ad devil's advocate, what about the argument from locals that Talisman Sabre injects millions into our local economy? I can say breadcrumbs, a few millions we're lucky to get up here, spin off. But what have they taken in exchange? Defence expenditures jumped by 7% in the last budget, 8% before then. Meanwhile, the federal government's slashing, saying that they haven't got enough money, are slashing services. We're actually losing more jobs because of the, these welfare cuts that we're generating by inviting the military here and encouraging them to bring their tanks and hold them here. It's peanuts, right? What they're offering us in exchange for stealing our taxes and stealing our way of life. That's good. That's good. You're happy?